How's it going, folks? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Michael Wall. This is Juicy. This is Grizz. I hate long introductions, so let's get right to it. These are the materials you will be needing. I use them. You can switch things out. It doesn't have to be exact. I use 3M scotch tape, whatever it may be. Here's the number. Um, and acid-free archival non-yellowing artist tape. You can get that at Blick or any other artist store. Something to cut with, anything to write with. This is what I use. I You could use a Sharpie. It doesn't really matter. And some old cardboard. You can use any cardboard really, as long as it's not old garbage, like, you know, there's no spit on it or trash. And some packing foam. This is three quarters of an inch, I believe. You can use whatever. I assume you could even stack up cardboard if you wanted and glue it together. This is just what I use because I have an abundance of it. Ultimately, we'll be making an ice cream sandwich. At least that's how I like to think of it. The top part is a piece of cardboard. The middle part is the foam. The bottom part is a piece of cardboard, which you will be taping your artwork to. Now, this is a charcoal drawing. You don't want anything touching the surface of your charcoal drawing. I use a fixative to keep it all together, but it's still a charcoal drawing. You don't want to touch it. You don't want anything messing with it. So avoid touching it at all costs. This is how you can pack it without anything touching it. This is what you're going to pretty much end up with. Well, after you put it in the box. Before you put it in the box. Yeah. Prior to building our ice cream sandwich, you will need to find a box and measure the box so we can get our proper measurements before cutting anything. You'll need to take your ruler. If I didn't mention the ruler in the beginning, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for that. But take your ruler, measure the box. This one's seven inches, I believe, by seven inches. You're going to want to make your cuts probably anywhere from six and three quarters to six and a half, maybe even six inches. It doesn't really matter as long as your, your ice cream sandwich will fit in the box because I also like to throw some additional padding in there as well. For this one, I've decided to go with the six and a half. Not that that really matters, because all your drawings will be different sizes, and your boxes will be different different sizes, so... Six and a half, six and a half. Another reason why I like cardboard is because you can see like the lines in cardboard. It's got these like little corrugations in it. So it's like, you know, they're built in rulers. Doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be completely pretty. I mean, you don't want it to be ugly, but just it doesn't have to be, you know, oh my gosh. I got my bottom part. This is why you can just do the top and bottom. Like I said, it doesn't have to be completely pretty. Just as long as your artwork can be mounted to these. Okay. So I got my top and bottom, ice cream sandwich. All right, now for the ice cream. <laughs> or s'more. <laughs> I like ice cream sandwich better though, so we're going to stick with that. Alright, so we're going to take the artwork. Because right here. And like I said, we don't want anything touching 
the charcoal drawing. So I'm just marking where we can make our cuts. Okay. So maybe we can even come down a little. You know, if you don't feel comfortable cutting this freehand, just use a ruler. Once again, this is just how I do it. I've done it twice now, which makes me a professional. Do a little test run here. You're getting the picture now, right? You're getting the idea? Okay. This is where you take your tape. Now here's a little trick that I like to do as well. I usually do it with my tape, so this was good way of starting out but I'll take a little strip and I'll bend one side over so it folds on itself so then that way when I tape down the artwork and this is just to hold it in place folks but I'll have this little tab for the client to then be able to pull up on nice and easy See that? See how it's like a little tab? You can then take it and just pull it off. Ta-da! Okay, now that I have all four sides done with my little tabs, I'm gonna switch tapes. Because this is the good tape. This is what you want to use for the artwork, so. I mean, they're going to peel it off and throw it away anyways. It's just what I do. Okay. <laughs> so, we're then going to put... Bird. You guys need to be careful over there. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with this tape. Fold one side. So it's nice and easy to, to pull it off. You want to make sure this is lined up. Nothing's touching the surface. Surface of your charcoal drawing, I mean. Okay. And boom. I'm going to wrap it around like that. See? Tab. Nice and easy. Pull off. One more time. Back that down. Hold it together. Look at that, we're halfway there. So at this point, look, you can even put it face down. And I like to put, you know, bottom. And then number two, you can put pole, then arrow, 
two arrows, whatever you like. Pull. Okay, so you got that. I'm gonna take the top of our sandwich. Same thing. You guys got this. You know what I'm doing by now. You know what I'm doing. Fold the tab. Now I like to do it opposite. So there's that to that. I like going side to side. Oh, whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here's here's here. Okay. So I do it reverse. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, so I reverse it. I like having the tabs on the opposite end because you want the you want the client to open it a certain way. Because your everything is to avoid touching the surface of the charcoal drawing at all costs. And am I right? I'm right. Okay. So then you will label this top. One pull. So then that way there's a process to it, you know. They open this these tabs first. This top part comes off. You'll have the ice cream in the middle still, still attached to the bottom where your charcoal is. Then they'll remove these tabs, which then will just leave you with the bottom with the painting on it. You then remove the tabs from the char the painting, the charcoal drawing, and then that's it. I mean, at this point, I like to wrap it one more time with some bubble wrap or some packing foam. And then just make sure it fits in your box. And that's it. It's, it's literally that easy. Still super lightweight. Nice and protected. Should have no issues. Well, I certainly hope that helps. Um, I, like I said, I made this just because I couldn't find anything else like this on the internet on how to pack charcoal drawings. Charcoal drawings. I keep saying paintings and it's because I have that liquid charcoal but yeah charcoal drawings um leave a comment below tell me what you liked about the video what you didn't like about the video um now i'm really in the mood for an ice cream sandwich so that's probably what i'm gonna do right birds right